What's up guys, Nate here, and today we are going to be checking out one of the coolest collection boxes I've found in a while. So right here before me, I have the massive, small but mighty collection box, as you can see right here. And this is going to come with 10 Pokemon boosters, an awesome promo, which actually isn't a promo, and then a couple other trinkets and goodies. But actually, I have to give a big shout out to Top Pops for hooking us up with this box. He found it in his collection. He said, you can go ahead and open it up for sure on the channel. So we're going to tuck into this today, see what's inside it, and hopefully pull some awesome cards. But anyways, without further ado, I think we need to slice into this, check out the promo, and crack into some awesome packs. But anyways, without further ado, let's go down to the minicam and rip some packs. Alrighty, so I took the liberty of disassembling the box, pulling everything out already, so we can quickly check out the promos and the other accoutrements that come with the box. And let me tell you, the promo card, which actually isn't a promo card, I'm pretty sure this one is just from Cosmic Eclipse as kind of one of the alternate arts in the set. I could be wrong with that. It does have the little um, 143A, which could mean that this is like a card from the set, but this is an alternate artwork of that card which they didn't include in the set which I could see potentially I didn't really look this up earlier I probably should have but uh, funny enough it is an amazing card with a bunch of pokeballs and berries strewn about and then you also have obviously Iglybuff, Togepi and Cleffa in the front there looking amazing as ever and it is a textured card I'm sure you guys can see on camera how that looks but it is a super super nice promo one of uh, I think the uh, more valuable card typically the tag team promos that are textured actually do hold a little more value than some of the other uh, like non textured promos funny enough but anyways the next thing that did come in the box funny enough was actually a keychain and I think this is one of the first times I've actually seen a keychain given in a Pokemon premium collection box which is pretty cool I'm not gonna lie and uh, usually you get like you get maybe a pin or a coin in this case you actually get a pin a coin and this little keychain so if you do have maybe like I don't know a keychain or something like that you could throw it on it would look pretty good if you do like these Pokemon so Pretty cool there, and then the little coin we do get here featuring the main three Pokemon on the box there, and then a pin as well with the same Pokemon. So, I mean, it's upside down, but it's kind of neat that they do give you all three in this box, because typically, like I said, you'll get, I feel like, maybe a coin, or nowadays, you'll probably get like a V-Star marker, or I mean, I guess we don't get EX markers, but you guys get what I'm saying. But anyways, that's what comes in the box. Now, the last thing that comes in the box is probably the, you know, main, you know, complement of the box is going to be these booster packs, which is Darkness Ablaze Rebel Clash, which is kind of scary. Burning Shadows, Burning Shadows again. Uh, Sun and Moon Base, Darkness Ablaze, or er, Sword and Shield Base, Crimson Invasion, Sun and Moon Base again, and then Steam Siege. So I think we'll organize this kind of really quickly, and then I'll uh, I'll set it up in order I think is best to crack into. <clears throat> All right, so I've set the packs up in I think a reasonable order from I guess somewhat best to last or uh, or worst to best I guess. Um, I put Burning Shadows at the last because I think out of the spread. If we do pull a Charizard, I think it's the best possible pull out of the set of packs. It's not the craziest set, but honestly, it's cool to take a trip back um, down, I guess, some of the earlier Sword and Shield sets, as well as some of the earlier Sun and Moon, and the later XY sets with Steam Siege mixed in there. So, Rebel Clash here, I think the only time we've actually opened this pack up on the channel was with uh, when we opened one of every Sword and Shield pack, if I'm not mistaken, I believe, at least. But we'll go through this one. I mean, hopefully, we can pull something good out of this one. I think there is, like, a Giovanni full art in Rebel Clash, if I'm not mistaken, but we'll go through this and see. I don't think we're going to pull anything good out of Rebel Clash, and honestly, if this is the pack we don't pull anything good out of, I'm okay with that. Bronzor there, Toxel, Applin, Darumaka, Pulsand, and the rare is a Ninetales non-hollow, sticking with some Rebel Clash trend there. Sword and Shield base set here. Hopefully, we can pull a Snorlax VMAX would be, uh, would be quite neat. I wouldn't mind that. I haven't pulled one yet, and I think this is the only set you can actually uh, get one in, so wouldn't complain there. Drizzle there, Stunfisk, Pokemon Center Lady, Salandit, Glarian Ponyta, Minchino, Sobble, Billet Bug, Orangaroo, and the rare is a Musharuna as the non hollow there. Darkness Ablaze. It's funny with this set though, how um, it was almost like supposed to be like a big Charizard set. Like one of the main pack arts is the V Max Charizard, and actually, there's only one in the set. Like there's no there's no alternate art for it. There's no no rainbow in the set for it either. It's literally just the V Max because they kind of took all of that out and then moved it to I guess either Champion's Path or I guess um, they moved it to Champion's Path 
for the Rainbow Zard, and then the Full Art Charizard also got moved to the promo for the Champion's Path box, so a lot of it got actually pulled out and put into kind of like the, the, I guess like a more of a special holiday set, but nonetheless, I mean, maybe we can get a VMAX Charizard Town Flame there, Fire-type Pokemon maybe? It is just a Swanna regular rare, but we do still have one more shot at getting our VMAX Charizard, which honestly, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm like, I know it's the most valuable out of Darkness Ablaze, but I don't know how valuable it is. I want to say it's like, it's between like, now I'm going in Canadian prices, so it might be a little off from USD, but I'm pretty sure it's like 40 to $50. Even that might even be highballing it now. Cause it's like a regular VMAX card. Like it really isn't anything too special, but I know just cause of the Charizard factor, which is honestly a huge factor in a lot of singles in terms of, you know, if they're Charizard, is that the price will probably be a little higher. Cub Chew there and the rare is a Hydreigon regular non holo there. Honestly, I do like that we get hollows now in Scarlet, or, uh, not, or Scarlet and Violet, I said that wrong, oh my goodness, but I do like that, but speaking of a set that definitely, um, <clears throat> has a lot of, uh, not, um, not too many fans to say, is, uh, definitely XY Steam Siege here, which honestly, I think is kind of a sleeper set, I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep riding that train, there's a lot of good pulls in here, I know I pulled the, um, the Secret Rare Volcanion not too long ago on the channel, but, like, I think that there is, like, a lot of potentially good cards in here. Like, you could get the Secret Regard of War, which, honestly, the price of it isn't, uh isn't too good, but I mean overall you you could get good stuff. You could. There's a lot of cool full arts in this. You can get like the Steelix full art, the Mega Steelix full art. I I'm really just trying to like hype up Steam Siege right now guys. I really am. I like this set. I don't mind it too too much, but I mean I know a lot of people don't care for it whatsoever. Shell is there. And the rare is an Inferno Apollo, which actually is a pretty nice card. Actually funny enough, I think we pulled this same holo in the uh, the Gengar Haunted Forest video funny enough, but a super, super nice pull there. And now moving on to, I believe, our Sun and Moon set. So we actually, funny enough, I was thinking about it in this order. I didn't even mean to set it up. I set it up as Sword and Shield first, then XY, then Sun and Moon. Did not mean to do that, but I guess that's kind of the order and how the best sets are kind of set up in this uh, the set of, of pack in this premium collection box or collection box. Is it, is it premium? Um, I think it's pretty premium. I think it's pretty premium. It, it's pretty premium. You get, a, you get a good promo. Let's call it a premium box. You know what I mean? All right, Sun and Moon 4. Sun and Moon is 4 4 sure here we'll go through this one dashing pouts haunter trainer card there pikachu honestly a great artwork on that pikachu skiddo starly numel chimeco there starly and a cacturn non hollow boy oh boy guys we are not doing too good on the hit so far we could really use a decidueye or an incineroar uh gx to kind of sweeten the deal up on these ones i am not gonna lie one two three four to the front there and let's get into this one pokemon catcher metapod as i'm skipping cards here Torcat, litten cosmog there rog and rolla growlith alolan meow back as our reverse hollow and the rare is he's a lantern non hollow boys and girls and we only have three packs left here two of which are burning shadows so we could get some cool stuff out of there potentially a rainbow charizard gx would be a super super nice one but we do have one more pack of Sun and Moon base, which I feel like isn't a set that too many people really like, but uh, we'll go through this one. We'll, we'll, we'll keep our we'll keep our doubters, you know, keep the doubts limited. Wishy washy, heard you're there. A Lowland Persian, a Lowland Rattat, a lot of Lowland Pokemon in this set. Rog and Rolla, Marine there, Crabrawler, Growlithe. Lantern in the reverse hole and the rare is a cloister non hollow gentlemen. Oh my goodness guys We are we're striking out so far. I mean, it's cool. We got the good promo, but burning shadows here really has to come in clutch for us I am NOT gonna lie if burning shadows doesn't put up the goods then uh, this Pokemon box is all for nothing So let's uh, let's dig into this one check it out. Hopefully we could pull a good GX I would really appreciate that wouldn't mind it at all one two three four there. All right, let's get into this one guys Let's see burning shadows. Can it deliver? Oh boy. Oh boy. Come on. I, I, I'm feeling something good. I'm feeling something good in this pack when pod Alolan Vulpix Meowth there Riolu Wobbuffet and the last card. Ooh. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh. Oh my goodness. Noivern GX Rainbow Rare. Honestly, it's kind of funny how the Rainbow Rares look. I feel like the ones in Sword and Shield are actually more rainbow. You really have to make it hit the light to see the rainbow colors on this one. But nonetheless, that is an awesome, awesome card there. Thank goodness. Burning Shadows came in clutch. I knew it would. I knew it would. That's why I put it to the end. Noivern GX there. Rainbow Rare looking gorgeous as ever. We're definitely going to sleeve that one up 
right away if I can actually get it in the sleeve there, but check that one out. And all, okay, so two textured GXs and one pack of Burning Shadows to go. I don't know how much the Neuvern is worth. I think it's not, not the craziest, but like most of the Rainbow Rares, I think the GXs wise are relatively pricier, maybe? I don't know, I don't know. So we'll definitely pop the price on the screen on that one, but last pack of Burning Shadows here. Hopefully we can get some last pack magic. Ribombi, Curlia, Olivia, Horsey there, Alolan, Vulpix, Sneasel, Venipede, Sandygast, Pikachu in the reverse hole spot, which is actually a super, super nice artwork on that one. Most of the Pikachus really are. They kind of knock it out of the park. But the last card of the day is going to be uh, an Electivire non hollow I mean, I guess we did get a really, really cool promo or full art or regular card. Uh, whatever it is. It has a set marker on it, but I think, it, I think it's a promo. But And then the Neuvern GX Rainbow Rare. I mean, our only hit from today, realistically. But a, a pretty good one. Out of 10 packs, I would have liked some more, but they are kind of the... The sets that we know we tend to get a little less hits out of but i'll take an oivern gx out of burning shadows any day of the week but anyways guys if you did enjoy this video i would love it if you could like and subscribe and anyways this has been another episode of nate collects and i'll see you in the next one peace